Now let's take a moment to talk about how to use blank components both as reference coordinate systems and as reference frames for components in OpenVSP. Now you'll see that I've got these little red meshes and those are imported geometries. Now I defined them in VSP, exported a mesh and just brought them back in for this example. And the point I'm trying to make here is that when I did this, I had them relative to a completely different point. So if I were to come in and turn off the attachment, note that the mesh itself would have imported relative to the origin here. So they're in completely the wrong spot inside my model. By attaching them, you can see that I have them placed where I intended relative to this wing control system. And now I have something to point to when I'm manipulating the location of these pods that I can define parametrically. Now, anyone that has worked in CAD or grid system or modeling environments before understands that there may be several small component models that you're trying to bring into one big one. And that all depends on how everything is built up relative to its own coordinate system. So blanks are how you can accomplish these little translations and rotations in OpenVSP. So for example, with that mesh, I knew that this origin down here was a certain offset from my system origin. Because I know what that distance is, I can simply attach any imported geometry to where that coordinate system is in reference to my model, and it goes to the right spot. Now, I've defined another coordinate system using this blank component that has this pod attached to it. And that pod has a certain orientation and placement inside this system. So I can come in and start to play around with the surface position. And if I adjust the sliders a little bit, you can see that we kind of land right where we need to be. And when they're placed, now I've got them placed where they should be relative to a component that I imported. And because these happen to be parametric, I can come to the design tab and I can make them longer. I can change the fineness ratio. I can do whatever I like. And that attachment point isn't changing. Now, another thing, you should think of these blank components, particularly when they're attached in, say, surface attachment, as their own independent coordinate system. They just happen to be moving around in relation to something else. So if we start moving this around, say, in W, toward the leading edge, you'll notice that the z-axis is staying normal to the surface, but the orientation of these pods relative to this frame is staying the same. And that's because this pod is attached in both translation and rotation, so it's behaving as if this coordinate system is its home. It doesn't care one bit about what's going on outside of it. This control blank is defining the position. And you can do that for any component in VSP. But just understand that when you attach something in rotation and translation, that the system itself that it's attached to is what's going to define the final position.